Hello again, students. This is part two of the first screencast regarding your budget project. And we will discuss expenses now. How will we estimate these expenses and plan for them? So we completed this um, last class or in the last session and determined that we had monthly net pay of $1,453.24. Now, is this going to be enough to live on, to live independently? Well, we will soon find out. So we'll start out with fixed expenses. And of course, much of this will vary. Um, you know, if you are, you get a, two roommates and um, um, get a, an apartment for about $1,500, that means that your share would be about $500. And if we save about 10% of our uh, monthly net, that would be $145.32. Um, this here will end up being a formula. So if we just backtrack to the net pay, um, it's going to be taking the net pay, which is in cell B13, and multiplying it by 0.10. So that's what we're going to try to do is save 10%. So that's that amount. This is just an estimation of a car payment. We'll do uh, something more thorough on this later on. Car insurance, college loan, and renter's insurance uh, for your belongings. And so then we'll end up with fixed expenses. So what is the formula here? I didn't tell you, I didn't write it out, but what do you think the formula would be here? We're adding everything up in here. This is a range, a range of cells. And uh, these, by the way, these formulas are the same in Excel and numbers as well as Google Sheets. So as equal sum, and then parentheses, B16 colon B22. And that's going to add everything up. It's going to add up B16, B17, B18, and so forth. So equal sum B15 colon B22. And we will include B22 even though it's empty because we may need to add a fixed expense later on. Remember, fixed expenses are those that will remain the same um, from month to month. Then here's a similar um, screenshot of variable expenses. These are things that may change from month to month. Can you guess what the formula should be here in cell B35? Equal sum. We're adding a range, B26 colon, which means through, B34. Periodic expenses are those that occur periodically throughout the year. So you need to set aside enough money. So when those expenses come due, you have it. Um, so these are things like auto registration or inspection. Uh, if you own a house, it might be, you know, having your septic system uh, pumped out or periodic entertainment expenses. So we add up all of the periodic expenses equals some B38 colon B40. So that's this amount. And then every month we want to set aside a certain amount so that when these um, are due, we have the money there. So we're going to take one twelfth of this. So the formula in cell B uh, B42 would be equals B41 divided by 12. We add up all of our total expenses. Fixed, variable, and monthly share, um, monthly share, periodic. And then we take our gross pay and subtract all of our expenses for our discretionary income. 
And what you can tell here is we have a negative amount for discretionary income. So that's not good. So gross pay minus deductions is equal to what? Net pay, right? And then you take your net pay and subtract all your expenses, and you end up with your discretionary, also called disposable income. And so what should you do if your discretionary income is negative? Uh, increase income, find another job, get another job, ask for a pay raise, work extra hours, or decrease expenses. You know, where can you cut expenses? This will usually be in the uh, variable expenses category, and you could do a combination of both. So um, this concludes this section of this screencast. Hopefully you've learned something, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.